God, it is a pressure cooker today, but not for me, because I'm on my God food. I can last better than the Energizer Bunny in sunshine and feel like paradise. Welcome to the revolution, which is a revelation. There's no revolution without a revelation, and there's no revelation that doesn't lead to a revolution. Okay? If God is in it. That's the main thing. Okay? Um, hallelujah. So, this is all madness, folks. <laughs> Um, I'm here to tell you this is lunacy. This is a grid of prisons. Um, you know, uh, <laughs> it's just like, go back in time to the happy days of Eden. People walked everywhere and they lived in sunshine. So I've, all of this is going to come crashing down. This is all misery. You know, anything that is suboptimal happiness is ultimately destined to die. It might take years or decades. For example, I might just by the grace of God, I might outlive everyone that's currently alive today and believing in stupid things, you know, and lo and behold, I outlive everyone happier and healthier at the age of 120 like Moses, and then guess what? The whole human populace, 8 billion plus strong, listens to me like a T and follows my life. And guess what happens then? Total world healing. And total world change for the better, for the glory of God. It's just, oh, the old bell curve. Slow humans. If you're far from God, um, if you don't pray, you'll just be so far from the cusp of maximum joy. You know, it's a simple equation. God is maximum joy, and he gives maximum joy to people who get closer to him. It's pretty simple. I can even evaluate these days just how close someone is to God by how much joy oozes out of them. It's a pretty simple equation. Think about it, folks. God is the happiest person in the universe by a factor of infinity. Heaven is maximum joy. So if a human is not the happiest person you've ever met, they're actually not that close to God. It's, it's just real. It's like they might know a lot about uh, the Bible or, you know, any number of things. But if they're not the happiest, most joyful person you've ever met, they're just not that close to God. It's simple, because God is the happiest. <laughs> God... <laughs> These people are not happy. I've already told you, they're at level 2.5 happy. That's, that's what I'm saying, and that's what I've been prophesying against. There, there's my white walking man, see? Even the white walking man is telling you to walk in white. I'm wearing my all white to the glory of God. It's a sign of my joy, okay? Um, but it's that simple, folks. It's that simple. Do you want to know how close someone is to God? Just detect how much joy they have oozing out of them on a consistent basis. It's that simple. God is the happiest person in the universe. He's the most joyful person in the universe. He's the most excited, giddy, on fire person in the universe. The closer you get to God, the happier you are 24 seven and your joy oozes out of you every time people run into you and they're like, that guy is so ridiculously happy. He makes everyone else look like a deadbeat. And that's the sad truth right now. The sad truth, which hopefully will not be a sad truth for that much longer, is that many people are living at a level of 2.5 joy, happiness in this universe. It's all related to your distance from God. <laughs> it's like a scientific equation. You remember in physics and chemistry when the two atoms get closer to each other, the start, the you know, the, the sparks start flying and the and the gravitational pull, like you know, there's all these numbers associated with with two things getting closer, and it's like excitement increases and energy increases and all that. Well, <laughs> it's not rocket science, kids. <laughs> the closer you get to God the more joyful you are as a person, 24-7, <laughs> to the point where you're this screaming lark of joy that you're just like, oh my gosh, this is nuts. And um, I never thought I could feel this way 24-7. And then God's like, well, you thought that was good. Here, let's just jack you 40 points higher. Because he's infinite. He's infinite. And so there actually is no limit to how universally happy you can feel while in this life. God can do it. He's infinite. Why wouldn't he? Okay. So 